Marcin Held versus Dave Jansen at 155. Both fighters coming off losses. Both guys had title shots. They came up short in. The difference stylistically couldn't be much more pronounced. Marcin Held, young, hungry, outstanding submission specialist, vicious leg locks, triangles, chokes. Once he's on the ground, he's so creative. He's so dynamic. He's such a vicious finisher. Either he catches you or like he did against Patricky Pitbull, he's so aggressive, you never get your offense going. You're defending submissions the entire time, so you never find a way to win the fight. His kryptonite, though, has been guys who could out-wrestle him, who could stay on top, who could negate his submission offense and wear him down. Those are the guys who have beaten him. That's what Dave Jansen did the first time they fought in the final of the Bellator tournament. It was Dave Jansen versus Marcin Held, and Marcin Held couldn't get his offense going in the face of the pressure of Dave Jansen. He's a very busy fighter. He's not a one-shot knockout guy, has some mission skills, but what he does is he wears you down on the feet with his kickboxing, and then he takes you down, and he wears you down with his ground and pound. He makes you physically give up. That is the style that has been the kryptonite of Marcin Held, the explosive, dynamic submission ace, has trouble in the late rounds with guys who take the energy away from him, who take away his physical gifts, who take away his technical gifts with his submission game. Dave Jansen, very, very difficult to submit, and the more you try, the harder it gets until you're in that 14th and 15th minute and you feel the fight slipping away. That was the story of their first fight.